Excellent! Hey guys, Paul here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Asus Z87 Pro. Uh, this board falls kind of right in the middle, maybe a little bit towards the high range from Asus mainstream or channel boards. Uh, it's for, of course, the Z87 chipset and the new uh, Haswell or Intel fourth generation core processor. Uh, today is just going to be a quick unboxing as well as some specs. So let's just jump right in. We're taking a look at the retail box. This is the Z87 Pro, which means it's based on the Z87 chipset. Uh, supports two way SLI, three way Crossfire X. Uh, it also has four way optimization. That's dual intelligent processors, the TPU and the EPU. Uh, this is going to be something I might uh, look into in a future video. Uh, TPU and EPU listed right there, of course, for uh, overclocking as well as energy savings. Uh, you also have ultimate cool and quiet technology as well as ASUS Wi Fi Go, which is pretty cool. Uh, flipping around to the back, here's a closer layout of the board itself. If you guys want to take a closer look, these are all pointed out. I'm going to try to also point out as much many of these as I can while we're taking a look inside the box. Detailed specs listed as well as some of the additional technologies that ASUS has built in. More info on the dual intelligent processors right there. It's one click four way optimization. Uh, it actually works pretty effectively. You also get Wi Fi Go. It's got onboard 802.11 ABG and N. Uh, you can use that along with the ASUS uh, software to set up some pretty cool Wi Fi and streaming technologies like making your computer into a router. Also, USB BIOS flashback still there. One of my favorite features. You also get USB 3 boost, which can really improve your USB 3 speeds. As far as accessories, we have an input-output shield, of course. It's white. It's got some labels on all of those. Uh, we have serial ATA cables. These are pretty standard ones that they've been including for a while. They're all SATA Rev 3. Uh, got a couple with L brackets and a couple with straight plugs. We also get an SLI bridge for two-way SLI configurations, one of the flexible ones. Uh, look, a Q connector, and it's gold. I really like the colored Q connectors because they tend to stand out a bit, but I really like their convenience. You also get one there for USB. Uh, this is actually a uh, your, your Wi-Fi antenna. It's kind of cool. It's got two leads on there. It's got two antenna built in. You can kind of twist it around to prop it up on your desk and give yourself a, a better signal. Pretty cool design in there. Uh, and then also, well, there's instructions there on the back to kind of show you <laughs> how to set it up. Uh, here's a manual for the dual intelligent prof processors and your Wi-Fi Go. And here is the main user's guide, which also includes your driver disk, which is going to be outdated, and your uh, ASUS powered by ASUS badge. Um, go to the website to download the latest drivers. Uh, and there's your big user's guide, which is very detailed, and I'm not going to go into depth on that. Let's move on to the board. Here's a closer look at it. You'll notice it is gold. Uh, gold is a new color for the ASUS Mainstream series of motherboards. If you don't like it, well, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, if you are looking for something similar in this line and you really don't like the gold, try the uh, Maximus 6 Hero because that's not gold. Uh, the PCB is black. Even some nice attention to detail here like the, uh, the brush metal finish on the metal back plates for the heat sinks. Uh, I, I like attention to detail. Uh, apart from that, gold heat sinks, of course, sort of uh, yellow gold slots for all the dims and uh, everything else, and pretty much, pretty much black and gold throughout. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I kind of like the gold. I think they did a good job with it. But uh, you know, your, your, your opinions may vary. We all have our own opinions when it comes to color schemes. Uh, but look, let's take a look at the bottom of the board because there's a bunch of connectivity down there in the lower right. There's a uh, front panel connectors. Next to that, you get a chassis fan. Above there, the EPU and TPU switches. Uh, so those are going to enable different modes for EPU and TPU, stage one and two. Uh, this is something I might jump into and uh, do some more in-depth coverage on. If you guys do want to see that, let me know in the comments. You also got uh, clear CMOS jumper right there. And above the uh, the front panel connectors. There's a direct uh, a direct key header, and uh, JJ's tip for that was to connect it over to your reset switch. You can use that uh, your reset button on your computer to go directly into your UEFI pretty quick. Uh, but anyway, moving along from there, you have a chassis fan header. All the chassis fan headers on this board are four pin, four USB 2.0 to get all that keck connectivity up and going. USB BIOS flashback key as well as LED, uh, Q code LED, uh, also a surface mounted power switch right there, Thunderbolt header, front panel connector, and SPDIF out, and then finally trusted platform module header on the left. For PCI Express, you got plenty of connectivity. You got four X1 slots, little short ones there. You also got three X16 slots. Uh, you get 16 PCI Express 3.0 lanes from Haswell, so you're going to run an X16 on the top slot, uh, X8 and X8 if you're going with slot 
2 and slot 5, and then x8, x8, x4 if you're going uh, 2, 5, and 7. The chipset, of course, is the 87. There's your uh, heatsink on that. It's controlling your SATA. So around on the side, we have SATA Rev 3, 6 gigabits per second, all six ports for that from the chipset. It's beautiful. Uh, you also get RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 uh, support from there. To the right, a couple more SATA Rev 3, uh, and those are uh, controlled by an add-on as media chip. Uh, let's move up to the side. You got your uh, power connector, of course. On the top right, you have a DRAM LED and a MEMO K button. Uh, MEMO K is going to help you with the memory troubleshooting. Memory slots right next to that. DDR3 dual channel and uh, yeah, supports up to 32 gigs and overclock speeds up to uh, 2800 and even beyond. Uh, above the memory, there's a pretty cool little uh, feature for your CPU fan header I wanted to point out really quick. Um, it's the fact that it's it's got an extra little tab in there. And what that tab's going to do is if you plug in a 3-pin header connector, it'll uh, treat it as a 3-pin. If you plug in a 4-pin PWM, the tab will recognize that and will automatically set your fans to PWM mode, which is a really cool little feature. Nice little, little thing that ASUS has come up with. Uh, moving on to the CPU, the socket 1150 for your Haswell processor. You'll notice some attractive uh, heat, I'm sorry, power delivery elements there under the gold heat sinks, uh, your chokes and your caps, MOSFETs are under the heat sinks, uh, really high quality components ASUS has used throughout this board, and uh, there's just a close up look along with the heat sinks. Finally, for uh, IO on the back, you have a PS2 port combo for mouse or keyboard. You also have uh, six more USB 3.0 ports, all of the blue ones that you see there. Wi-Fi antenna hookups are right next to that. Uh, video outs for your iGPU, HDMI, DisplayPort, DVI, and uh, VGA. Also an optical toss link out, your Intel NIC, and then of course all your analog audio connections on the right for your Realtek ALC 1158 channel high def audio. And that is going to do it for this video, everyone. Uh, if you would be so kind, I would love to hear your feedback on what types of additional videos you'd like to see covering these boards. Uh, I have the Z87 Pro here. I also have the uh, Z87 Sabertooth from the Tough series. Uh, I'm going to be doing some follow-ups with those, so if you'd like to uh, post a comment in the comment section down below, let me know what uh, types of use case scenarios you'd like to see or whether you'd like a deep dive on the, the UEFI or the uh, utilities that are included, anything like that. So. Uh, leave your comments. That's all for this video though. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing and uh, I guess we'll see you in Taiwan. Yeah.